Hello there. Um, in this video, I will teach you how to create a character for Dungeons and Dragons uh, 5th edition or map tools uh, in my framework. Uh, you will need the map tools version 1.7 or later and my framework version 2.5 or later. Um, the quickest way is uh, open the Compendium and from here you'll see new character. Click it and give your character a name this and a token is health. Um, these changes can be this, this, these options can be changed later and it will ask launch the wizard you just leave it check it okay it will launch the wizard and your character is already here um, but it's not uh, it's not uh, ready to use yet so hit next use the token uh, the character um, i will do the following i will Row for stat for for stats, forty six. Drop the lowest, so it will go the dice and drop the lowest. Mm, I will use this and choose a class based on what it is good for. Seventeen charisma and. Ooh. Oh, this cannot. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, no, whatever, just an example. Uh, this will be a high elf because token. Oh, no, never mind. It will be, um, give me, gives me institution. Whatever, it will be a high elf. I don't care. Um, use a language, use a spell, um, press the digitation is quite useful, um, choose a background, languages, equipment, class, so it will be a, um, bar, bard, you can choose starting equipment or starting money. I will go for I will go for starting equipment. Easier and faster. Uh, choose your skills. Choose your instruments. Choose your equipment. And it is done. You can use um, alignment, change your uh, change everything here, but uh, you can also ignore that. And the character is done. Um, the way it works in this version of the framework is uh, all the data is stored here in this library token. Uh, you will not use this to play. You will make a, an instance of it. You can do it clicking here on make token. And this is the one that you will use to walk around, um, interact, uh, and open your character sheet. So the character sheet is complete, except uh, a few details. Um, doesn't Add your hit points, so I will have to do it manually. 1d8 minus 2, so it's um, 6. Pretty bad. And in the next level, even less. <laughs> we will die soon. Um, uh, you can roll each 
the attribute, clicking on the numbers, you can ch change them. So you can write formulas or set numbers. You can add notes, you can add proficiency to the dice rolls when you um clicking on here you can roll for uh oh yeah language so i can change i can choose to make a intelligence proficiency test with language if you are dm also uh, it's pretty cool uh, the weapons for performance reasons the doesn't load automatically so you have to click load weapons and it will search for weapons and what attributes do they use and you can make your attacks here um the spell will display here mm, you can change uh, personality ideals from here uh, um, you have uh, these resources that you can change here so you can either put one here or you can add a formula so plus one and it will apply um, you can equip and unequip items. Uh, this will count. Oh yeah, uh, you have to set a weight uh, modifier for for your carry capacity if your DM uses it at all. Um, can toggle inspiration on or off you can uh, roll your death saves and note them here uh, you can roll your dice and note them here uh, your HP, yeah, I already showed that. And um, you can load other other pages from here. So here I can add more spells. Um, I will add spells later, uh, showing in the compendium how to create a character using the compendium. Uh, in a later video. Um, oh, never mind. Uh, let's do that. So, um, a bard knows. Um, and some sometimes it takes a while to open big pages like this one. Um, a bard knows four spells and two cantrips. So I already have pressed digitation from the health background. I will make, I will take, um, uh, Dancing lights, choose your target and mm, message. Here they are, uh, and four spells of level one. So I will take charm person, uh, comprehend languages, these guys, and sleep. no thunder wave, just uh, something for damage, right? Um, since, since she's, she's a bard, uh, 
she already knows these spells but if she was a wizard you could prepare or unprepare here and it will uh, display just the prepared ones here in the attacks and spellcasting if uh, can make a spell attack here clicking here uh, you can change your spell slots here uh, you can either put, uh, make, make write formulas or just write the flat value mm. and if if you don't want to open this every time to roll the damage you can make a make a custom attack clicking here in attacks and spellcasting so this one will be thunder wave there is no attack roll it's a um, dc mm. primary damage is to the eight thunder mm. Engage. Okay. Uh, is it to the eight? Yes. So instead of opening here, rolling the dice, closing, you can just click here. Whatever you cast Thunder Wave and remove your slots um, in the spellcasting sheet. Um, but you can also. You can also use your stat block for all of that. So the spell slots will be here. The custom attacks will be here. Oh, this one is oh, it crashed. Oh, too bad. Uh, the when the the GM now uh, find that. Um, you can change your slots here. Um. And check everything in your character from here. Make your, make your checks, make your saves, your skills, and roll for initiative. Change your HP. Um, you can also change your HP by clicking on the number. Since my map tool crashed. I have to open it again. Um, I'm back. So uh, you can change your age, uh, receive the damage by clicking in the number, uh, the dice result, and choosing your target and apply it at either as a damage. As a heal, and that's it. Yeah, um, and concentrate us on spell, uh, concentrate on spells. If you have uh, this, is, I don't know if this guy sells concentration, but you can. Concentrate, it will show here. Uh, it will show also in the conditions. You can remove it. Uh, you can apply other conditions. Mm. And that is it for now. In the next video, I will teach you how to use how to create a character using these these tables um, and and later I will uh, uh, th this content is only the uh, the ones available on the SRD for free by the wizards of the coast uh, in later videos I will show how to create new content um, before you go 
if you watch it until here uh i would like to ask you to uh, like this video if you like it subscribe if you want to see more of this content um if you have any questions you can write in the comments i i, I will do my the best to help you and if you want to support me you can subscribe um support me on patreon for now i just have one tier um but if more people um, support me, I will make more tiers with more rewards. I will do uh, maps uh, like this one, and uh, one per one per month. Uh, sometimes more, but one for sure. And assets like um, like uh, objects and resources in general for our virtual tabletop games you can use them in map tools you can use them in roll 20 i don't care <laughs> uh, thanks for watching and see you on the next one mm -hmm.